Hey Canucks fans, hope you are well. I'm here to break down all of the goals from the Vancouver Canucks 4-3 overtime victory over the Buffalo Sabres. And yes, uh, a good victory, a good bounce back victory for the Canucks considering the performance they put up against the Pittsburgh Penguins on Wednesday night and of course playing without defenseman Philip Horonic. So let's get into it right now and let's start off by looking at the highlights. And the first highlight is a Buffalo Sabres goal. And you see the play starts innocently, innocently enough through the neutral zone. And then Jake DeBrus gets knocked over by Bowen Byram. And DeBrus just kind of slides into the slot there, covers his face. I don't blame him. And then it's Zach Benson with a nice pass to Byram, who just finished knocking Jake DeBrus on the ice. And then Byram showing the good hand eye coordination and tipping it past Kevin Lankinen. So, yes, when you see this, it's kind of, um, yeah. Do uh, you blame DeBrus for not getting up? Maybe he didn't want to screen Lankinen. But right here, you see um, Byron actually hits the rush down. His rush just kind of slides. He keeps sliding. He actually, and then he covers his face. I don't blame him. I don't want to get hit in the face of the puck. Uh, Branstrom kind of shields his face, and, but no one's doing anything. Like Branstrom doesn't close the gap. Maybe he, he would not, doesn't have time to get there. And then DeBrusque is basically useless on the ice. And then a really nice tip from Byron puts him past Lankin, and Lankin had no chance. Once again, look at all the space that Benson has. Very skilled player. No one within like six feet of him. And then Byron with the tip. Deflection. One more time. So here you see DeBrus covering his face. <laughs> uh, it's not in shame. It's because he doesn't want to get smoked. And I, I seriously, I don't blame him. Like, uh, would I have liked to see him try and get up and maybe check Byron? It, it happens so fast. And I'm not sure if that's realistic. I know anytime I fall on the ice, it takes me about five minutes to get up. And then Branstrom, did I want him to jump up a little bit? Maybe. Maybe though he thought he was going to be able to take Byron, but then he's caught in no man's land. He's halfway between the shooter and, and Byron. Then he, he turns his face too because he doesn't want to get hit in the face either. But of course, neither of these guys are looking, seeing the puck go right down this gap. And then Byron with the de skill deflection, it is one nothing for the home side. DeBrus throws the puck in. This is the end of the second period now. And then he does, makes a really nice play, uh, dislodging the puck and Besser head up comes out of the corner, finds Suter, Suter with the shot, rolling puck, and DeBrusque, who started the play, ends it off by putting it past the goaltender, putting it through his legs, actually. This is a really good play, and, and they only show it once, though. I think this is the Buffalo highlight package, because as opposed to the, the Byron goal, they, they just showed three times on a replay, they only showed this one once. But that's a really nice play by Besser, and Suter, I think this is a really good play, knowing that he's got a guy behind him, a guy in front of him, he just shoots it, and it actually catches the goaltender up high, and then it's DeBrusque who puts it in between the goaltender's legs. And that's a, you know, I, I wouldn't say like DeBrusque was at fault for the first goal, but you know that he felt good scoring that goal uh, to, to kind of get the Canucks back onto even terms. So 1-1 one, one going into the third period now. And I've just looked at, yeah, Lukanen is how you say the goaltender's last name. I didn't want to say the wrong name or, or mess it up. So now we're going to the third period. And it's a Canucks power play. Love what they do here. Besser over to Petey. PD shields the puck away from Byron, which is good. Battles, then it goes to Hughes, to Besser, and look at Garland. Low, a lot of leverage on a stick. Uh, I'm not gonna say that the Buffalo Sabres couldn't see him. That's a little bit insulting, but um, this is very similar to the game-winning goal that you're gonna see in a bit. Garland is so good around the net and so good at making, uh, working hard to get open. So once again, there's Besser and finds Garland, and Garland uh, makes sure he's got, she got the stick. Um, and he's got his skate in behind a stick for even more leverage just in case and he deflects it in really nice play by garland and good eyes by besser once again look no one on him and this becomes uh this becomes besser's second point of the game there's the pass actually uh, now that i see it his he did not use a skate as leverage it's just simply uh, a really good um skilled play by garland to put it behind look at him so now it's 2-1. Oh, this is a better better look at it. So it looks like he's got this skate behind a stick, but then where the where the pass goes, it actually goes through the crease. Really great pass by Besser. And then all Garden had to do was tip it in. So 2-1 Vancouver. Then it's a, a good play here in the in the Canucks zone. They're working hard, trying to get the puck out. And then uh it goes back. And look at this block by Garland right here. Boom. Double. Double pad stack, and the suitor gets it, settles the puck, flattens it, and then a wrist shot past Lukanen's glove hand. And he's pointing at Garland. He's looking at him because Garland, is, this play's all about Garland. Look at that. 
So, so it looks kind of scary. I've done this in roller hockey before too, but I don't think I'm smart enough to, or skilled enough to turn my head away. Thank God I haven't uh, gotten smoked in the face. But Garland, it's not just like his, his, look, his legs aren't even on the ground. They're actually elevated about two feet up. And that's how he blocks the blocks the shot, which is pretty crazy. And the suitor, look at him settle the puck. And then right here, um, you know, he could go short side, but he snap it's more of a snapshot as opposed to the wrist shot. And right past Lucan and really right this. So I think we see Garland here. Okay, so we see Garland, we see Garland, and Garland's smart. He turns his head away at the last second. And then look at that. Blocks it with his feet. Okay, maybe not maybe two feet in the air was a little bit generous. At least a foot in the air. He blocks it with his left skate and it goes perfectly to Pia Suter in the in the slot. And again, look at the bouncing puck right there, it's bouncing. Then Suter settles it, head up. So um Lukanen doesn't know look at all the Canucks players watching, and look at the snap on that shot. So 3-1, Canucks look golden. Seven minutes left, then uh poor play by Joshua there, right there, he gets faked out. And then Cousins shoots, and there's like three or four Canucks players. There's two Buffalo players. Just a lot happening in front of, of Kevin Lankinen. So I would have liked Joshua to make a bit of a better play um, and not get faked out so easily by Cousins. Right here, boom. So Joshua basically, instead of going straight at him and taking the man, he's now out of the play. So now, and look at this. Susie's trying to battle two guys, and, and then it's Benson and Juleson. And then actually, Lankinen wasn't screened, so, but there's got to be a bit of distraction with all those guys in front of him. And then there's 3-2 um, there's goal. Now, just a minute later, it's the same line. It's Joshua, it's Garland, and it's Suter once again. And this one's a, a bit of a fluke. So first, a shot goes off the far post, but then it goes right back to them, almost the same play. And this one gets deflected twice, once by Cousins, and then off of Alex Tuck's ear. Yes, we're going to see this. That's, you'll see that's why Tuck is laughing so much because it went off the side of his face or the side of his head. So not much you can do uh, if you're Kevin Lankinen. Maybe you want to see bit, a bit better defensive structure from the Canucks. So Garland's line was scoring, but they were also getting scored on. So here's the first one. And then I, you, Garland and Joshua in the same place. One of these guys should be over here. And I, there. So Garland points to Joshua and says, go get him. Do you want Joshua to close a bit better? Maybe, maybe he was afraid of getting deked out again. But look at this puck. Cousins deflects it here, and then right here, it goes off of Tuck, the side of his head, into the net. And that's why Tuck is so, so like happy. He's pointing, he's laughing. Yeah, very funny. Once again, we see it right here. There's the first one off the bar, and it comes all the way back, almost perfectly. And this time, it's Benson, and there's Joshua trying to figure out what to do. And then boom, one deflection, perfect. Second deflection into the net. Now it's overtime. And then we have Garland bringing the puck in, gets taken down, but gets up, gets it back to Hughes, Hughes to Besser. Just watch Garland now, watch Garland. Garland, uh, no, still Hughes, not to Besser. Now Garland finds a spot, and this one, he actually stops. It actually gets deflected by a Buffalo player. Then Garland stops it, and then Garland backs backhands it under his own leg, but he makes sure he moves his right leg to make sure he doesn't block his own shot. And when you watch it, it's actually quite good. It's not like the most amazing play ever, but it still takes a lot of skill. So look at Hughes fighting off this player, Bester giving him an out over here on this side, and Garland, exact same way he scored the second goal of the game, and then Hughes finds him. It actually deflects off this guy. It hits Garland's hand, and then Garland sticks his right leg out and then puts it underneath his own leg uh, on the backhand. Here's a better look at it. Off of him, off of Garland. Let's watch that again. You see how it goes off of the Buffalo player first. Right there, goes off of his stick. Then it comes up and it hits Garland's right, oh, actually it hit his stick. And then Garland shoots his right leg out. Look at that, look at that, look at that. And I think I found the thumbnail for this video. Garland plays the overtime winner, also has that amazing double pad stack block shot pass to Suter, and of course scored on the power play as well. So a three point night for Connor Garland as the Canucks take this one by a score of four to three. This game was a little early, and now they have another early one on Sunday against Detroit. So Canucks fans, let me know what you thought about my breakdown. What highlights stood out to you and why? Is there something that I pointed out to you that you did not notice the first time? Or is there something that I missed that you want to tell me about? Let me know in the comments below. I love to read your reactions to these videos, especially 
all the time. I want to give a shout out to my sponsors, Van City Experts Real Estate, Coach Patrick Blue, Weight Loss Coach. Thank you, legendary Lucas Gates, legendary Tristan Talio, legendary Andrew Chang, and thanks to Hall of Fame franchise members for your support, and thanks to all of you for watching, liking, and subscribing. Don't forget, members, uh, we have our group Zoom chat, 8.30 p.m. on Sunday night, but I'll have a goal, um, a goal breakdown if the Canucks beat Detroit, which I hope they do on Sunday morning. So thanks again. Uh, as always, you can subscribe, you can like the video, you can leave a donation, but definitely leave a comment below which highlight stood out to you and why. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves, and take care of each other. God bless, and go Canucks go.